What's up, guys? Kenyo here with KT, the arch degree. Um, oh, and then Mr. Composition is here. You know, that dab troll quality. And then Frankie, Frankie Michelle's here. So I just want to ask you, because I heard you talking about you're doing this one in Dallas, this workshop in Dallas. You said you wanted to grow organically. When it comes to, like, putting your workshops in out there, is there, like, a specific way that you like to do it so that it's not, um, I don't know, so you're not stressing yourself out with marketing? No, 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 not yeah. at all. I, I was just saying in regards to this workshop here in Dallas, mm -hmm. I wanted to keep things real simple because I wanted to just grow, you know, a, a, a class, like an old school type class. Okay. Um, I travel, so yeah, I, I do all types of events all over the country. And, yeah. You know, bells and whistles, you know, I don't have no problem with them. Actually, yeah. I want to create more interactive um, scenarios with my audience. Um, I usually have props and things like that, ask yeah. certain questions get people involved to make okay. it a real experience but I know with the classes um, like I said I wanted to grow it organically so I could kind of get to know the community get to know the people create a rapport so we can all kind of build together okay cool uh, that's that's cool okay so second question Instagram do you are you on Instagram yes I am you like it okay Okay, with its dope, do you find, um, how do you really go about making like something that's authentic to your life? Uh, oh, well, it's, it's social media. Yeah. You know, I'm KT, the arch degree on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. And um, it's like, I was just talking about the blue light do you toxicity here. I, yeah, and it's just the weird, the people I follow. Like, the people that I follow are the people think, would think that I follow. Like, I have a real attraction artist, yeah. specifically comic book artists. Yeah, um, the blurred resistance. <laughs> And I love how they, they how they captivate um, action. Yeah. How a still picture mm. has so much movement. Okay. It just it does something to me. That's so interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, so like if you if you're a real dope comic book artist, most than likely I'm following. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely with that, and way more than health. You would think I'd be following all the health stuff, but um, I'm I'm a real I'm a real artist at heart. I collect the comics as a kid. Follow so. what you like. I like that. That's cool. Do you get a lot of interaction with the people that you follow? Like, do you notice not, that like not them? really? Like, Most oh of my gosh, interactions come almost. from come from my posts. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come from my posts. I do get I do get the celebrity followers at times. I get shocked because they like repost my stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. It's, it's it, it always blows my mind. You're like, I saw you even. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. They don't want to come on my page See, unless they come correct. <laughs> vegan. Vegan. Yes. Yeah, yeah vegan. That's definitely one. Big different. Huh? Goat meat. Goat meat? Yes. No. No. No, that's not all even meat. vegetarian. All the meat. <laughs> all the meat. Um, I, I, I was vegan for a little bit, and I found that my digestion, you know, it's kind of a mix because my digestion has kind of, kind of just kind of sluggish. I was on a vegetarian diet, so then I went back to meat, but I make sure that I don't, I'm not eating pork, so I'm just too much meat, and I feel like my digestion should be a little bit more normalized like that. It's usually the balance. What ends up happening is when people go vegetarian and vegan, um, they just think, oh, plant-based, no meat. I'm vegetarian now, or I'm vegan now, but it was like the same type of intensity you put into eating meat, having a well-balanced meal, you gotta have the same, that, that same well-balanced meal when you're vegan too, so you gotta make sure, yeah, combination, <laughs> you gotta make sure you're using the right oil, you gotta make sure you're using the right oil, the right fruits, you gotta think of seasons, you're eating things out of season, times a day, what are you combining, all of these things add together. And, and, and the funny thing is, we don't digest cellulose. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the plant wall, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's the quote-unquote fiber that helps to push things along together. It's a good thing, right, because the cellulose is actually fed to our microbiome, which is this bacterial like we have um, 10 bacteria of every cell in our body. So we're more bacteria than we are even to eat. And we have a great community down in our gut, which we 
feed through the cellulose and they yield fatty acids, a byproduct of that, that helps us with a lot. But when you eat meat, you have one type of microbiome, which is called, um, if I can remember, one is called bacteria, 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 or and the other one starts with F. Y'all got to Google it. <laughs> one starts with the F, one starts with the B. And the people that usually consume meat they have a study of European children versus African children. European children have predominantly this F type, while the African children have this B type. So you being a meat eater and running the plant base, you probably need more time to regulate your microbiome as you switch back home. So you were just probably dealing with some issues as transition was taking place and your body will probably be looking for certain things trying to balance it all out but then you, you went back because of what you knew yeah but look up look up the, the f there's an f type and there's a b type um microbiome that is separated by phenotype what do you do about eating local phenotype? Oh, yeah. Because you're eating local, it really helps. But it's with local, it's not going to be phenotype. Well, that, well, that's why you should make sure you live in environments that's most conducive to your phenotype. No, seriously. You better go with a Like, like, don't, you shouldn't be living up in the UK, up in the 53rd latitude, and nothing like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting paid. <laughs> yeah. well, something's paying later on. <laughs> pay down, paying up that credit. Texas is an area we can live in. It's like 31, 32 latitude here. You get long summer, so you should grow a lot. Like there are herbs that grow in the Caribbean that grow here. Like the national flower of the Virgin Island grows in Texas. That tells me something about the sun. Mm. You know, so yeah, if you're getting a bunch of stuff here, then. Oh, this is a great place to be.